this is Rutoli. Uh, I'm in Finland right now and I'm on my way to my friend Afsim from Winter Sun. I met him last December when I was here celebrating the holidays with my lady who's filming right now. And um, yeah, I saw him play, was at this clinic at uh, On The Rocks, a nice uh, hard rock cafe in uh, downtown Helsinki. And uh, I saw that he had a really good right hand technique. And I'm always interested to learn from different people. You know, you can always learn something from someone. And uh, yeah, I'm on my way to his place right now. I got off at the right train station, but I see some uh, bridge thing here in the back. I have no idea if I need to go left or right. Let's Google, shall we? I just called him. I don't know which tour he will emerge from. Life is always exciting. Wait, maybe he's on the other side. Let's take a look. I see there's another. Ah, hello? Did you see that door? Okay, I'll shut this off. See you in a bit. Miracles haven't left this world. This is a Dutch uh, expression. I don't know if it translates well into English. Does it, does it mean anything to you? No? No, well. Ah, it means that it's a miracle basically that I made it to this place with my sense of direction. I'm at uh, Asim's studio and this is the maestro I've been talking about. Introduce Hello. yourself maestro. I'm Asim Siara from Wintersun, Damnation Plan, True Cult Club, many others. <laughs> cool. Yes. And yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, I saw him play at On The Rocks yes. uh, last December. Yes, and it was kind of like uh, a mini clinic. Yeah. And I saw that is that he had a great right hand, and my right hand sucks a bit, as he's gonna see in a minute. But um, yeah, so whenever I tell people that I still take guitar lessons, they look at me with a weird expression. But I'm always like, yeah, but you can learn from anyone, you know, and even if it's just the smallest bit that you think like, hmm, hey, I haven't, you know, I haven't thought of this approach. Then I think that that class that lesson has been a great success so maybe he can teach me some stuff or show me some stuff give me some tips I'll and do uh, my best i would be very grateful and if not then at least we had some fun we had some fun that but what we would be able to say it later yeah on. if you haven't heard of winter sun and damnation plan please check them out because they were really awesome and uh yeah let's get to it Ooh, that's cool it's Some called light. Robab. What's it called? Robab. Robab. It's out of tune at the moment, but um, I wouldn't know. It's a <laughs> it's a medium size actually, if I can recall, and mostly it's used in the northern parts of Pakistan, and of course, has been used a lot in Afghanistan as well. Hmm. Ah, are you in tune? Yes. Thanks to Evertune. Oh. Okay, this is standard. Yeah. Okay. I'm a standard kind of guy. <laughs> Sound wise, it's okay. Perfect. Man. Well, what I found out a couple of weeks ago, actually, it's mm -hmm. super weird. I'm 43. I'm old. I, uh, I, uh, I have my conservatory diploma, yet I only figured out a couple of weeks ago that my uh, picking angle is different than normally. Uh -huh. Because I tend to play, I, I kind of need to feel to mm. have some support of my thumb. And I do that by resting on my strings mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But what happens then is that my angle Mm -hmm. Isn't like this, yes. but it's like this. It's the upward pick sliding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, right. And therefore, I always have trouble. Do you know the the Chop Builders by Frank Gambale? Mm, 
it's this mm, this sorry. this uh, i know frank Bali, like a guitar yeah, player yeah yeah in the right, right. 80s beginning of the 90s he released this uh this 10 round exercise uh, extravaganza the chop builders it was mm -hmm. and every exercise had some yeah like i said some fitness for your hands and there's one it's uh it's very simple it's like a that mm -hmm. so but i never could make it and he does it at 120 beats pm and i could not figure out why i wasn't able to play it that fast mm -hmm. until a colleague of mine danny tunker i don't know if you know his name he used to play in aborted ah uh -huh. okay yeah and yeah he's also technically beast and he came to my place and he said yeah but you have an upward pick slant yeah like Paul Gilbert, apparently. And when I turn it around, I'm not warm, but, but normally it feels much, All right. it feels much better. Also, uh, things like, mm -hmm. it's, it's much easier for me to start with an upbeat or start with an upstroke. Upstroke, yeah, right, right. Because right. of that reason, because right. if I, if I play like this, now I need to go over the string. Sure, hop. Yeah, I need to hop over that string too. Whereas now I don't. Right. But still, mm -hmm. and it's fine with yes. me. I always mm -hmm. tell my students, my students who are technically sometimes much better than I am. But I think I'm 43. I already have a career. <laughs> it's not to the utmost, you know. I don't really need. I don't really need right, it. Right, 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 right. On the other hand, I still think, you know, why not try to improve yourself a sure. little bit by maybe the golden tip that I get from you or from from sure. Danny or from whoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I know that my problem is in my right hand. My left hand is okay. Right. Uh, but it's my right hand that sets me back and that's right. because of my upward pick slant and I'm not Correct. familiar with the downward pick slant. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you tend to have an economy picking as well interpreted, uh, inter, uh, what is the word, um, integrated in your playing? Not or that Or do you much. tend to always do the I alternative? I do the alternate picking. Okay. But now that I've found out, because uh, runs, for instance, um, um, I would always have to, because if I start with three notes, then I end with a downstroke. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And when I, I, I take the point. next one, mm -hmm. then I usually play that thing again, because right. then I end again with a downstroke. Right, 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 right. Whereas so three notes per string is basically... So what is, what is causing the trouble for you is initially you want if you want to stick with the alternative picking but due to not having the initial knowledge of the pick slanting yeah it's the reason why because then it's much easier to just go in one direction instead of changing anything in your right hand yeah yeah but rather just keep it in the flow yeah instead of changing the positioning of the i i tend i started to do more economy picking when i play high to low right because for some reason because of my tendency to to let my thumb rest it's easier to pull it instead of right. press it it's it's similar to uh, actually jeff loomis tends to do that as well he has a very interesting as well way of uh, holding the pick and he tends to do as well very much of the, every time that he's coming backwards or descending basically mm -hmm. he always does this mm. So his hand actually becomes like this hmm. and he tends to do it as well the way you're holding the pick okay so he always goes backwards as well so for him as well it's much easier to go backwards in that sense yeah and he is a very um in a way i think so he is a very um upward pitch pick slanter as well hmm. so he doesn't have that much of uh, know-how in the pick slanting world as well hmm. but rather he integrates the economy picking in so much that it just doesn't feel like it or sound wise you can pick it up but due to not having the pick slanting it just um, what is the word it uh, restricts you hmm. and I, I need to tell you that I need to practice more that's all right that's all right but sometimes I feel that my uh, synchronization between left and right sure. isn't, isn't that great anymore you know and I, 
I'm, I'm the type of player who, uh, when I was growing up, when I was 15, 16, I played eight hours a day. Yeah. And I was technically 100 times better than I am now. Sure. Am I sure, still sure, in the sure. mood to practice eight hours a day? Really? No, no, I don't no. have time for it. No, anyway. no, no. Right. But what I need to have some, some, uh, some, how do you say that? Um, support in my uh, on my thumb. If I do it like this, I, this this feels I so I fucking. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand how people can play like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it goes everywhere. Yeah, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Something, yeah. Your emotion actually comes from here. Yeah. Like absolutely the the beginning of the palm and the thumb. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, palm. I'm saying like whatever this part of the yeah, th this this uh, yes. Yeah. So, um, so your movement is right mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. like this. But mm -hmm. the good point is that you don't have my movement at all in your elbow mm. or your forearm mm. because most of the people have that like yeah, 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 yeah. notion yeah. going on. Yeah. That is very ineffective yeah like that would be very um eventually it would be fatiguing as well yeah and yeah. it could like in the long run as well you you can't last well last longer mm -hmm. in that sense let's do this can you show me some tremolos like let's sit with one note and just yeah i can't even get it to that speed all right okay but now i feel that my lower mm -hmm. arm Now, um, but I still feel that it that it feels stiff, right? Or is that a matter of of me not being used to it and giving used it and, it. and giving up too quickly yeah, that I right, feel like this, right, right. this feels this like just shit? Feel, yeah, right. Correct. I'll show now that how holding the pick really does not matter at all. Mm. Like this is this is it took me a long period of time that holding a pick or whichever style you play the pick with. If you play like this or like that or like this or like that, that mm, really doesn't. Mm. Well, effectively, it does matter on the sound, of course, a lot. But to have the consistency in the run, uh, it does not vary that much. So if, if I play like this. It's the same speed. And I'm changing my pick direction all the time. While everything is happening in my... Like that's... So it has nothing to do with how you're holding the pick. But the control in between how much you're putting the pick in the string mm. and where are you hitting the pick, exactly how you're making that attack come to be the attack. Mm -hmm. Like this is the attack that I'm after, right? That snap, that snap. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not moving my hand like, you know, really like this, mm -hmm. but it still has that power. Like, right? So this is basically what the most important thing is. It's not about how, f and of course, the more further you go away from the string, like this, what do, what do you mean exactly? The further away you oh, the, from the, the, the movement. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. though you are like here, that you are very... You imagine that you are close to the string, but actually you are holding like... You are making more movement in there. Yeah, same with left, of course. Exactly. If, if, you, if you lift the finger yeah. like this, it needs to come back as well. Correct. Yeah. But like now you would hear the difference the more pick that I put inside, mm -hmm. and the more pick that I... Like the more edge of the pick that I used with the string. Mm. So mm, mm. I mean even I lose the mm. So basically So this is the So it's 
just that little exactly. millimeter. And that's the control. Yeah. And of course that yeah. makes the dynamic of the sound as well. Mm -hmm. If you hear like it has tick tack tick tack tick tack instead of that, it has a very smooth transition in between. Instead of that, yeah. tuck a tuck 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 like yeah. And of course it has more pick scratch as well to it. Yeah. Even though my pick is very straight right now. Yeah. And now it's there. So it's that control, like basically to have that consistency at the very edge, last tip. Mm. I mean, the very, very least tip that you can touch with the string is where the whole initial thing happens. Mm -hmm. And this is what I learned, like in a very, very disturbing way. Because I didn't have, that was a long time back, like I didn't used to have well, different picks for different kind of styles if I was playing. For instance, if I pick up the acoustic guitar and wanted to do the strumming, and having one MM used to be a bit of a, like, a bit hard for me. Like, mm. for yeah, some, yeah, exactly. Like, you need different, especially because with an acoustic, that's right. where you make your sound. Correct. Instead of plugins and stuff. Right, right. And yeah. then, so what I did was, like, basically started holding the pick a little bit further away mm. Mm. to bring that, you know, 0.7, uh, 0.77 mm kind of a feel to it or something like that. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, I just talked about this exact, exact same thing last Monday mm -hmm. when uh, I uh, I started playing some acoustic stuff with my students because they had to bring their acoustic guitar. I didn't say anything yet about guitar picks, and they all came with their normal electric guitar picks. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, because they play comfortably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's not the most important thing when pick when choosing your guitar pick for an acoustic guitar. It's what sounds best. Correct. That's my opinion. Sure. And if you need some soft sure. strumming, Why you not? take a thin pick and you hold exactly. it very loosely and you exactly that it almost falls out of your hand. Yeah, it has a very interesting sound to it. I mean, very nice. See, uh, kids, snap to it. So you hold your pick very shortly. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, I, I hold it like this. Right. It's okay. quite a lot then maybe. Oh, uh, it, from the other side, can I see? Yes, yeah, fairly, fairly, yes. Hmm. Fairly. As you see, like, this is my oh, distance wow. in between. And of course, as I mentioned, it really depends what am I playing. What I noticed is if I... Uh, hold my this is my normal to go to... So if I use it like this, yeah. I have the feeling that I that I'm able to hit the notes and the strings much more in control. Like this. Yeah, like this. All right. Mm -hmm. So there is no problem. No, but still, if I do fast runs, mm -hmm. so what? Basically, the thing that happens is because you lock yourself. Mm. With this, you lock yourself. You don't have that much of a space to go to. The moment you open, there's more travel time that you have mm. in between. So that's mm. why maybe you feel that oh, it's it loses too much of yeah control, right? Yeah, because I feel so. Let's try this actually. There's a. Um, Paul Gilbert used to have this exercise for everybody, mm -hmm. and that you see, right? Show it, right? This so. is what I mean. But it's a starting yeah. with upstroke. That's what Paul Gilbert loves to do because right? of his pick slanting, probably. No, because he didn't want to have the pick slanting element that much there. Ah. So that's why he actually corrected himself after many years. Really? Yes, because. If you start with upstroke, obviously you're going down, right? Yeah, after, when yeah, after, after three notes. After the three yeah. notes. So if you start with upstroke going down, you don't have to change oh. your pick slanting at all. I mean, like, pick, uh, you don't have to do a pick slant. Mm -hmm. So that's where the element changes if you start with the downstroke.
that's where the pick's landing happens as mm. well. And yeah, I see it in your hand yeah. now, yeah. Then that's where the... And of course it's still difficult. It's still difficult. So that's why, why, why should you not choose the easy way in that sense? Mm. And of course, most of the patterns that are made in that sense as well are like that, so that if you want to end up at the next string, you end up at with a downstroke. Mm. So you don't have a problem with that. But mm. if you have the four notes down, that would be the same thing. That's where the there is no pick slanting happening, mm, mm. but I'm doing a downward slant in that sense. But the downward pick slant that you are default. Uh, More or less, I yeah, could say that yeah, yes, yeah. that is my default. But I have started to change it into bringing it very like neutral form, mm. so that it's much easier for me to think about. Yeah, and where the slanting happens. Make, yeah. Because if you're holding your pick like that and you're going like that, it takes you much more travel time to do the pick slant. Mm, mm. While if your pick angle is already here, then it's much easier to do the pick slant, like mm, mm. go left and right in that sense, mm. right? Instead of like from here to go here to go here, mm. that becomes the easiest way to understand pick slanting would be if you do the sweep picking. So mm. when you're going down and you're coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Downwards, upwards. Yeah. Down, up. And we all want to sweep it because that's impressive. You want to? No. You don't want to. No. So you don't want. I to always be make the joke that 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 guitar players only sweep pick to be impressive, not to girls but to other guitar players. True that. <laughs> well, then a guy comes who just does. And he walks away with the most beautiful girl. <laughs> Simple, <laughs> easy. And then yeah. the guy comes like, yeah. and then he's standing, standing still in the corner like, yeah. nice job, dude. But okay, we're, we're gonna go that way. <laughs> exactly. But one thing so, that that you know, uh, of course, I I understand the the concept of pick slanting, but um, how does it work when you improvise? Because I understand mm -hmm. that when you have set runs and you have set patterns mm -hmm. that you can incorporate it into your practicing and into your uh, 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 what's it called uh, muscle memory mm -hmm. basically yeah but what happens if you if you start to improvise certain patterns right is then your brain the math, then quick, the math quick enough in. to yeah. make those decisions right then the math comes in yeah this is something which i forgot to talk about like i was talking about the ascending pattern mm -hmm. and when it comes to descending then it's obviously vice versa Mm. So if you're starting the same thing, basically. Mm -hmm. So if you're starting with a downstroke, and you go away. Right, and you start with an upstroke. That's where the upstroke Let's say we learn a C major scale, mm -hmm. right? Which is so C major on six strings, right? And then, as you would start, let's start with the downstroke first, mm -hmm. and let's play it slowly. Downstroke. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel that I have my upward. Yeah, yeah, uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. So this is in the slow speed. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you're playing slowly, then you don't really have to think about much yeah, of the pitch yeah, landing. Yeah. The problem comes when you really go, go faster. Mm -hmm. So even at the slow tempo, while thinking about it, it's like if you start with an upstroke, obviously you don't need to do the pick landing because the next string is already going in down. Yeah. Because it's like you're going in this motion, right? Mm, mm. So, like, you have gone up, down, 
up and next one you're going down anyways mm. Mm. right yeah but if you're going down up down then you have to come up yeah so you have around to, the string right yeah exactly so you have to hop over the string yeah. and pull it mm. while if you just change the direction of your pick so you go away from the pick like this is a pick and you're holding the pick like this this is the down, uh, downward pick landing mm -hmm. right sorry upward pick landing mm -hmm. and then you're doing one two three right and you're already down there so it's yeah. much easier yeah. for you to pick it already yeah. right yeah but the necessity of doing the pick landing is only when you're about to change so you don't have to always be like okay well let's let's be upwards like so it's much easier mm -hmm. but if you keep straight yeah and you just go very mm -hmm. clearly up and come back mm -hmm. so Yes, that was that was a pick slant right there. I I don't know why no one has ever told me that. I think this was discovered properly and come to the knowledge of like on the surface of many guitar players just recently. I would say 5 6 years ago. Okay, so it not I'm that not long insane. Ago. No. Like who, many who would people, have thought? Yeah, I started to learn playing to play guitar before the internet, before the interwebs. Interwebs, so, yes. So you had as to, Bush says, internets. <laughs> internet, <Internets. really. laughs> <laughs> So you had to rely on on whatever people in 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 your you know surroundings would yeah. tell you. Right. And my first guitar teacher was a classical guitar teacher who taught me some chords. He had never played any power chord in his life. He, wow. he, he taught me on his classical guitar, but there was not much going on back then. This was 1990, you know. The second guy who was a great guitar player, uh, a great Steve Fai kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he never mentioned that either. And at yeah, let's not right. even talk right. about the conservatory. You I know? mean, I think I started to get to know about pick landing because of Troy Grady. First of yeah, time. that's where I and, heard uh, the term as well for I the first like, time. Wow. I link this in the description. Sure. And I was like, "What is it? Like, I just don't understand it, for, like properly." It took me a little bit of a time to get into it. And then I had a sit down with um, Temu, of course, the other guitar player of Winterson, and he's very good with pick slanting. I mean, he has been working for a long time in that sense with pick slanting, and um, he and I had a discussion with about pick slanting, and I was like, "Nah, it's not that necessary, really, honestly." I mean, I'm a downward pick slanter, or if you want to call it downward pick slanter, it's fine with me. I'll just do a couple of runs, and that would be all right. But then there's a, then there was a particular run in Winter Sun, uh, Winter Madness solo that I come in, and uh, I used to nail it, but then I started having problems by nailing it every time correctly. And then I realized, oh shit, I mean, there, if I do the pick landing, it really would be beneficial to do that. Mm. Because there are a lot of, there's not just like three notes per string every time going there. There are a couple of notes here and there, which makes it four notes per string uh, and so on and so on. And, so and there's just much to, of changing in there. Yeah, just to clarify when you use the word pick slanting, you mean the changing of the pick angle. The angle, angle of yeah. the pick, okay. yes. Cool. According to... Um, the direction of... And the, and, and the amount of notes right yeah. the amount of notes and the flow that you're going into down or up mm. basically mm. so but many people do perceive it as like the shape of the pattern and then just they just memorize it like oh well here are the picking yeah. you know pick i'm not i'm, I'm happen, not a fan and, of that because right. that that locks you into a certain uh, and, and box yeah and i'm you know i'm officially i'm a jazz guitar player i'm not but i i studied jazz for right. five years right and so I improvised everything for five years. So I'm big on improvising. I love to improvise. And once you, you know, once I hear people say, yeah, and then I memorize those patterns and then I know that, that, that yeah, that, that puts you in a box that, right. that deprives you of all the freedom right, of right, playing. Right, 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 exactly. And okay. that's where I started to calculate in that sense as well. And. Uh, I just made my own method, which I'm still working on to even make it more clarified. Like, how would I be a able to explain what I mm. really do? Like, how do I calculate this? 
For instance, I started to force myself to bring, make patterns which were, let's say one string would have three notes and the other string would have four notes. Then again, I would go back to four notes. Then I would go back to three notes, but not in the uh, even patterns uh, mm. frame that mm. two strings would have three notes, two strings would have four notes, two strings would have three notes. So it always remains in the even section, kind of. Mm. So I force myself to go in the odd numbers, hit the odd numbers. If I'm starting with a downstroke, I might end up ending the whole pattern in a downstroke as well, mm. which is like, okay, that is not supposed to be the case if you're going in the even, um, mm. in the even flow, basically. Mm. Mm. So it it still is, I'm still struggling with to find out exactly the way that I think that in my way that where the pig slanting would fit mm. absolutely let me be your guinea pig once you have your sure method sure definitely ready so definitely. there will be a part two of this that would be great that would be great it's like um now we did the four notes and if we add the six notes for instance to it as well right mm -hmm. and now there was a pig slanting that happens here because i ended up with a downstroke yeah and now i need to go up yeah You start with the upstroke. Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah, right. but then, then I struggle to get the speed in. And that's because I'm all, all I'm also uh, I tend to tense up right. when things become difficult. Right, 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 right. I do understand your in point. life with everything also with playing video games yes. when i reach the end boss yeah, yeah. it's like ah! <laughs> also with boxing i have i have uh, that that i have lots of trouble with you know if i if i need to spar mm -hmm. with a guy who i know that that can beat me up mm -hmm. then i i i change from being relaxed to to this and you know your <laughs> whole technique is out whole technique is, is yeah. out you're you're dead tired within within one minute yep yep because it's fatiguing. Yeah, it's very fatiguing. So and I also have it with down. with with playing with uh, yeah with playing guitar. So I'm concentrating on my on my breath a lot. That's right. also a piece of advice. Study that. Sure, 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 sure. That's fun. Absolutely, absolutely. So, how much for the pick? No, 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 I mean, it's just a pick. Is it absolutely. just a pick, or is it the pick of, of destiny? Ah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's just the tip of the pick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Dutch word for pick? Right. You know what pick means in no. Dutch? Cock. Pick. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, the tip of the pick. The tip of the pick. Yeah. That could be the next movie we're gonna make, actually. <laughs> no, no, no. I well, no. It's time to no, go no. now. I think, yeah. Time to go. <laughs> so this was great. Uh, I knew the concept of pig slanting uh, through the interwebs, but uh, yeah, I never sat down with it. But I'm definitely gonna do it. My main conclusion is that I need to spend more time just practicing. Um, you know that that would help a lot but it was uh, very helpful nevertheless so i'm gonna do that i feel inspired so uh, thanks again maestro well thank you for coming by and of course it was certainly fun yeah and um one way or the other we both learned from each other i i hope so i hope oh, so yes. i'm going home with a new guitar pick so that's a score oh uh, yes and we're gonna go out for some beers all right indeed see you later bye A very small moment. Yeah, yeah. Just very, very subtle. But then again, the tip is everything mm -hmm. that I'm using. Mm -hmm. 
so it just doesn't become like. Oh, do you, do you always only use the tip? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the tip is enough. <laughs> it does the job. <laughs> it gets the job done. All right. Well, I'm none the wiser. So this was a waste of time. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. That was <laughs>